Developing a rocket is not an easy task. In fact, it's probably one of the most challenging engineering tasks out there. It's not without reason that the saying, it's not rocket science, is very common, proving why spacecraft development often stretches over many years. The public generally understands and accepts these lengthy timelines. However, when a project takes years to develop and still fails to produce a successful test or results, patience can wear thin. The Boeing Starliner program exemplifies this situation well. Back in 2014, NASA decided to partner with Boeing to work on a spacecraft called the Starliner. This was part of NASA's commercial crew program, which began to get more companies involved in space travel. The goal was to make a spacecraft that could go to the International Space Station without having to rely on Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, which was the only way to get astronauts to the International Space Station after the space shuttle program ended in 2011. However, NASA didn't get what it hoped for from Boeing right away. The Starliner project faced multiple problems and experienced several delays. One of the first major setbacks occurred during the uncrewed orbital flight test. The spacecraft encountered software issues that prevented it from reaching the correct orbit to dock with the ISS. This mishap was a significant blow to the program. Further investigation revealed not one but two critical software issues occurred. Boeing and NASA decided to conduct a second uncrewed test flight to verify and resolve any issues before proceeding with crewed flights. However, this second test flight was also delayed several times, first due to the need for more thorough testing and verification of the corrections to the software issues, and then due to technical problems discovered during pre-launch preparations. Originally, the Starliner was supposed to begin operational missions to the International Space Station as early as 2017. Yet, as of now, it has not completed its crewed flight test. Although we have heard Boeing say this multiple times before, they are saying the test will happen on April 22nd. This upcoming crew flight test is a crucial milestone for the Starliner program. Assuming the launch goes ahead as planned, two veteran NASA astronauts will pilot the spacecraft to the International Space Station, marking a significant step forward in the commercial crew program. The mission, expected to last about 10 days, will include docking with the International Space Station and parachute-assisted landing in New Mexico upon return to Earth. Now, Boeing being close to the crew flight test is certainly good news, but when you compare their progress with SpaceX's achievements in spacecraft development, questions arise about the pace at which Boeing has been moving forward. Despite Boeing's long-standing presence in the industry, their progress with the Starliner has been notably slower compared to the fast advancements made by a newcomer, SpaceX. Boeing is a giant in aerospace with operations spanning from commercial airplanes to defense and space projects, and has been in the industry for over a century. SpaceX, in contrast, was established in 2002 by Musk. Their notable achievements include the successful Crew Dragon missions to the International Space Station, which began with an uncrewed test in March 2019, followed by a crewed mission in May 2020. Not only that, SpaceX is set to become even more dominant in the field once they complete the development of their highly anticipated Starship, which is now preparing for its third test flight. Recently, the company took one of the last steps towards this launch. Every groundbreaking achievement in human history has often been accompanied by challenges and setbacks, and SpaceX's Starship program is no exception. The development of Starship has seen its share of explosive incidents during its test flights. The first orbital test flight of Starship set a record by becoming the most powerful rocket stage ever launched, surpassing the thrust of NASA's Saturn V rocket and the Soviet Union's N-1 rocket. However, the test flight ended in an explosion four minutes after launch due to a failure in stage separation, leading to the rocket disintegrating into a ball of fire and crashing into the Gulf of Mexico. The explosion caused massive damage to the launch pad at Starbase, which has since been reinforced with high-strength concrete and a water jet system to protect against the heat and force generated by launches. The second test flight saw improvements, including the introduction of hot staging, a technique where the upper stage engines ignite while still attached to the booster. Despite these improvements, the second test flight also ended explosively. The booster separated from the ship before disintegrating, and the upper stage exploded as well. 
Now, a few months after the second test flight, SpaceX is already preparing for the third test flight. Their recent progress includes successfully stacking Ship 28 on Booster 10. This step is typically done shortly before a launch as part of the final preparations. For SpaceX's second Starship launch, the timeline from the final stacking to the launch was quite short. The stacking of Ship 25 on Booster 9 was completed on November 15th, following the conclusion of the environmental review by the United States Fish and Wildlife Service on November 14th. The Federal Aviation Administration granted the flight license on November 15th, and the launch occurred on November 18th, 2023. The stacking follows a detailed test firing of both the booster's 33 Raptor engines and a single Raptor engine on Ship 28 to verify their performance and readiness for space operations. After the second flight test, SpaceX started getting ready for their third test flight by moving Ship 28 to the testing pad, aiming for a flight early in 2024. This step involves important tests like cryoproofs and static fires to check the rocket's readiness. Cryoproofs are tests where the rocket's tanks are filled with liquid nitrogen at very low temperatures to simulate the conditions they'll face when filled with actual rocket propellants like liquid oxygen and methane. This is done to make sure the rocket can handle the extreme cold and pressure without any problems, without actually having to ignite the engines. Static fires are when the rocket's engines are ignited for a short period while the rocket is held down so it doesn't take off. This lets engineers check that the engines and the rocket systems are all working well together and that the rocket can safely perform as needed when it actually launches. These tests are crucial for making sure everything is working as it should before the actual launch, allowing SpaceX to fix any issues that might come up. SpaceX has conducted a wet dress rehearsal with Ship 25 and Booster 9. This rehearsal involves loading the rocket with fuel to test its readiness without actually launching. During the wet dress rehearsal, SpaceX simulates the entire launch process, including a countdown, but stops before igniting the engines. This allows the team to check all systems, including the fueling process, engine cooling, and the functionality of navigation controls like grid fins and thrusters, ensuring everything works as expected under launch conditions. New booster transport stands have also been introduced to facilitate easier handling and preparation of boosters for stacking. SpaceX is working towards launching Starship, aiming for a time frame around mid to late April, after considering a March launch. This plan, however, depends on getting a launch license from the FAA. The FAA has concluded its investigation into the second flight of SpaceX's Starship, which encountered explosive failures of both stages during its test on November 18th. However, they have clarified that the conclusion of this investigation does not automatically grant SpaceX permission for the next launch. The agency has outlined that SpaceX must address all identified corrective actions. The FAA is currently reviewing SpaceX's request for this license modification and is awaiting further information from SpaceX to make a final decision on the approval for the next Starship launch. Musk has ambitious plans for SpaceX, aiming to launch 1,000 Starships per year as part of a strategy to dominate the space launch market. In less than a decade, they have transformed from a newcomer to the leading provider of launch services, directly challenging established players like United Launch Alliance. Speaking of ULA, there have been discussions about its potential sale, which has caught the attention of the aerospace industry. Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin has shown interest in acquiring ULA. The potential acquisition of ULA by Blue Origin could significantly impact the competitive landscape of the space launch market. ULA has been a dominant force in space launches, particularly with lucrative government contracts. However, the increasing competition from companies like SpaceX and Blue Origin has been challenging its market position. Blue Origin and SpaceX, founded by Jeff Bezos and Musk, have both similar stories, although their paths have diverged over time. SpaceX has rapidly advanced, setting records in the industry with its reusable rockets. Its achievements have positioned it as a leader in the space launch market. On the other hand, Blue Origin has progressed more slowly, focusing on suborbital space tourism with its new Shepard rocket and working towards orbital flights with the new Glenn rocket, which has yet to conduct a test flight.
Compared to SpaceX's string of successes, Blue Origin has faced challenges in keeping pace, including legal battles over NASA contracts that have underscored its struggles to secure a solid position in the space market. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.